Good morning. Emmaus Lutheran in Tripp sees a bigger attendance than usual today, one week after a tornado destroyed its sister church, Zion Lutheran, in Delmont. Brian Bucklew is pastor to both congregations and was out of town when the tornado struck. I was speechless at first. Now with the normal scripture, service, songs, and a roof over their heads, it's something of a return to normal for the congregation of Zion Lutheran. But some things can never be the same. My wife and I had just left the church and we, we faced a tornado. It was coming to town. Tad and Jim Kaufman are fourth generation members. Their grandfather was among the church's first members and he helped to lay the cornerstone. This week, Tad and Jim helped to remove that same stone. And while it may find a new home... Cornerstone's at my farm yeah. right now. It's, it'll be waiting for a new building. Yeah, we'll, we'll incorporate it somehow we'll in, the, in the new building. Yeah, the, church. the rest of the church will be burned. Synod officials will officially decommission the building during a short service on Monday morning. And then, with the help of the Delmont Fire Department, the ruins of Zion Lutheran will go up in flames. We sing a hymn, we give thee but thine own. So that's, I guess, a way to give it back. Zion Lutheran's life as a church is coming to an end. But the congregation survives by their faith. You know, these things are hard to accept, losing these things, uh, the building and whatnot. But uh, they also strengthen our faith as we look to those things not seen, those things unseen. It's not hard to see the strength these people have. In Delmont, Tanner Chambers, Kelloland News.